So Father's Day is tomorrow and I've got 21 classic fragrances for a father or dad to wear or for you to gift to your father or dad. So if you want to find out the fragrances that I've chosen for this video, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. We're going to jump right into this video because it's going to take some time. I'm going to try and keep this video under 20 minutes. So let's hope we can get that. And we're going to start right off with my number one choice, which is really not really in order, but we're going to start off, as I said, with Chanel, Bleu de Chanel. And this is the Parfum Edition. And here we've got a great, classy, a very, very, um, crowd-pleasing kind of a fragrance for a man to wear. It's a citrus, it's got a little bit of smoky incense, it's got a little bit of citrus fruits in there, woody touches, and just an all-around crowd-pleaser. Uh, very, very, uh, I guess, you know, people love it. It's a, it's a people uh, tend to react positively to it and it smells great on people. And mixed with a body chemistry, the fragrance just comes alive and it just kind of like projects to this beautiful, classy, kind of like a fragrance that you can wear most any time, every day, the signature scent. So this is Chanel Bleu de Chanel Parfum. Next, I'm going with uh, Eau Sauvage the Extreme. You can definitely go with the original. You want the Parfum, you can go with that as well. I've chosen the Extreme here because this is a little has a little more depth to it than the original, more citrus uh, version of the fragrance. This has a little more aromatics thrown in, lavender and things like that, herbs. And it just kind of like gives it a, a more depth, a little bit more depth to the fragrance. So this is uh, Eau Sauvage Extreme from Dior. Of course, we have to include this one. This is a classy niche uh, men's fragrance uh, that's really lo loved by, you know, men who just like to smell great. It's a fruity, woody fragrance, and I like the fact that it has some smoky, woody notes in there. Of course, the pineapple, and of course, uh, just really fresh and refreshing experience. And this one actually comes alive. It's a crowd pleaser as well. People tend to just react positively to uh, Aventus. So that's Creed's Aventus. Next, we're going to the House of Hermes, and this is Equipage Geranium. Now, this one is a really, really lovely uh, woody uh, herbal kind of a fragrance with a kind of a, a peppery uh, geranium touch in it. Like, it kind of like boosts up the original um, equipage uh, with this uh, just kind of like a... It's a flower, of course, it's an herbal flower, geraniums, and has a very peppery kind of a green vibe to it. So I find this one to be very, very classy. It's perfect for dads. Um, in fact, most of these fragrances are targeted to men, but there are some that are unisex targeted as well. And I think both men and women should be able to pull these off. But the fragrances that I've got here are very classy for men, perfect for Father's Day, or for men or fathers or dads to wear all year round. And this one is uh, one of those solid releases from Hermes that's perfect for a dad. It's got a very zingy experience. Zingy as in bite. It has like a almost like a ginger bite which uh, makes this one very very unique. Uh, but the ginger bite or the bite that I'm talking about is coming from the geranium here. So this is Equipage Geranium from Hermes. This next one we've got Lodeve. This one right here from uh, Frederick Mall. Class all the way. This one is got this like uh, almondy heliotropy kind of a uh, experience, and uh, for me, this one just smells heavenly on me. It smells just wonderful, and it comes alive. It's very very classy. I believe this one's a unisex targeted fragrance. It's not masculine targeted, but to me, it's more on the masculine side. It's, it smells to die for actually. Um, the notes very very green and. Um, Slightly powdery, slightly almondy kind of notes in here, uh, which just give it a very interesting mus musky experience. If you don't know Lo de Vey, just definitely check that out. It's um, an underrated one from uh, the house of um, Frederick Mall, but definitely deserves the attention. So that's Lo de Vey from Frederick Mall. Next, we're going to the house of Dunhill, and this is uh, Century, Dunhill Century. I have a review of this one. This one is very, very classy, perfect for a dad. It does hint a little bit at um, Le Labo's uh, Santal 33, but it's laundry sheet kind of clean, laundry clean, very, very clean and woody uh, experience for me. I, I just absolutely love this one. And actually, I didn't really, uh, 
favor or like Le Labo Centaur 33, this fragrance is actually kind of turning me around to enjoying that fragrance. It's kind of weird. They are not identical, they have similarities, but uh, this one was a little more um, interesting to me, so I've warmed up to this. Uh, because of this, I've warmed up, I'm warmed up to the Le Labo Thir um, Centaur 33. But this one's a very classy, perfect dad fragrance, a signature fragrance, uh, awesome fragrance. So check it out, Dunhill Century. Of course, you have to have this one on the list. This is uh, Fougere Royale from Hubigon. And this fragrance is a Fougere, of course. It's uh, got lots of different herbal notes. And lavender is big here. Of course, you also have tonka beans or um, coumarin in the notes in the base. And there's some oak moss and patchouli in here as well. It's a very, very green fragrance. And I actually, when I smell it, I can smell the chamomile note, which is also very prominent in this fragrance. Uh, and then is it, no, actually it's a carnation note um, that's in here that uh, has a kind of a, a clove, uh, like cloves. It smells a little bit like cloves. Uh, in fact, it, it's very prominent here. So a very, very classy, probably one of the best Fougere fragrances ever created. And it was brought back in 2010. And this was like the very first Fougere fragrance created in the late 1800s. Perfect, classy, uh, masculine kind of a fragrance for dads to wear. So this is Fougere Royale. Next, we're going to the House of Aqua de Parma, and I think this is a unisex targeted fragrance. It was recently re relaunched. This is Cipresso or Cipresso di Toscana. So this is cypress trees. It's all about cypress trees, and it's a very, very beautiful. Um, it's interesting because I love this when it was first out and it was discontinued, but recently it was brought back. But the smell of cypress, cypress trees are amazing, and I find it to be very, very classy, uh, masculine, woody kind of fragrance, even though I think this is not solely targeted to men. I think it's unisex targeted, as I said, but wonderful smell, classy, woody. It has citruses in there to kind of like balance out the very extreme uh, woodiness of the cypress. And there's, I think, uh, other woody notes in here as well, but amazing scent. Really, really awesome. Cipresso, is it Cipresso? Uh, Cipresso di Toscana is uh, quite an amazing fragrance. So check it out from Marco di Parma. Next, we're going to the house of Creed again and Green Irish Tweed. You know, I'm kind of coming back around to this fragrance. Um, I actually wore so much of some of its clones. No, I, I, I wouldn't say that it's clones. Some fragrances that smell similar to it. Like I wore a lot of Cool Water and I wore a lot of, um, what's that fragrance? Uh, Alpine? Anyway, something like, I, I can't remember the name. I, I wore those fragrances. I got burnt out of uh, something that smells similar. But this one's kind of coming back around. This is a very, very green uh, fragrance. Uh, very, very herbal and aromatic. And it has citruses in there as well. And it's actually starting to grow on me. And I'm really enjoying it. It's funny how the nose works. You gotta like fall out of love with something and then you come back around to it and really love it again. And that's what's happening here. So Green Irish Tweed is a great classy fragrance for men. It doesn't have to be, um, only for men, I think women can pull this one off, but I find it to be more on the masculine side. So check it out, Green Irish Treed from Creed. Going to the house of Hermes again, we've got uh, Terre de Hermes Eau Intense Vetiver. So I decided to feature this one on the, on the list because this one is a, more of the latest flanker. I don't think this one got the hype it deserves. Um, it is a good fragrance. It might be a little redundant because it does have similarities to the others, although it does have differences as well. And it's a great scent for vetiver lovers, just a little different than the original um, um, Terre de Hermes. But I find it to be classy, citrusy, vetiver, um, orangey, kind of all, and also very, very earthy because the, uh, the vetiver in here is uh, extremely earthy and it's perfect for a father to wear either for Father's Day or every day of the year to smell very very classy. So this is Hermes, uh, Terra Hermes Eau Intense Vetiver. Next we're going to the house of Raja Parfums and this is Elysium. Now this is a given it has to be on this list. Uh, awesome scent. Uh, it's a very, very classy fougere, but it's a very, very modern fougere. It's um, another crowd pleaser. Uh, people tend to love this one. It smells great on uh, men or women, if, but I think it's more suited for the male body chemistry. So this one, when I smell it on people, it smells great. When I smell it on me, it smells great as well, but coming from another person it smells even better but the the projection on here is amazing the sillage and the trail it's awesome but it's not one of those overwhelming fragrances it just smells great people tend to love it on you so this is elysium it's perfect for dad on father's day 
Uh, next, we're going to the house of Tom, Tom Ford. This is Fougère Platine. I really love Fougère Platine. It's a green Fougère. Um, it's, I mean, it's similar to this, but there's a licorice anise, anise uh, kind of a touch in here, which gives it a very, very unique, slightly boozy uh, quality. It does kind of hint at Verc de Bois also from the house, but it is a Fougère after all with those licorice anise touches. Such a great scent. I really love it. I like it more than Fougère de Argent. Um, Platine is awesome. So this is Tom Ford Fougère Platine. Another vetiver, vetiver on the list, this is Byerly from uh, Parfum de Marly, which I have a review of. This is a very underrated fragrance for this house. I find it to be classy, uh, something that's got a lot more depth than a lot of these fragrances because this one's a very, very uh, strong vetiver, very smoky, but the dry down is creamy because you've got that beautiful, creamy, uh, soft uh, guyac wood in here and makes for a great, great vetiver uh, wearing, a fragrance wearing experience with a, you know, dominant vetiver note. If you like vetiver, if you like a little different thing like Guerlain's um, vetiver that I haven't featured on this list, then check this one out. I decided to go with, of course, Terra de Hermes O Intense Vetiver, and then I wanted to feature maybe one or two more vetivers, and this one can't be beat. This is great. So this is Byerly from Parfums de Marley. Now this next one is an, a new one for me from the house of Bottega Veneta, which I haven't really spoken about. This is Pour Homme Eau de Toilette. Man, where have I been with this fragrance? This is awesome. It's a classy, wonderful, woody leather fragrance, aromatic woody leather fragrance. You've got um, pine, you've got balsam uh, in here, you've got leather, and you also have juniper. It's such a it's like you're walking into a leathery forest. Um, the forest is first uh, the experience, the trees and the, the bushes and the shrubs, and then the leather pops in. That's the kind of experience, but so aromatic and so refreshing. Uh, it gets heavier and heavier uh, as it's drying down. Um, something this reminds me of, not a lot, just a little, a little hint of it, is um, Memo Paris's um, Russian leather. So Russian leather has those piney uh, aromatic notes as well at the top. I find that one to be a lot more icy cold. This one is a little more softer and uh, less cold and a little warmer, but has hints at uh, one another. So this is a great scent. I, I love it. I, I'm, I'm obsessing over it and I keep wearing it a lot. And one that I should, I think you guys should check out as well. It's perfect for dad. Um, um, Father's Day or every day of the year. So this is uh, Bottega Veneta Pour Homme Eau de Toilette. We're going to the house of Penhaligans and we're going with the tragedy of, uh, tragedy of Lord George. This one right here. What an awesome bottle this is. And this is another Fougère, a very unique take on Fougère where you have warm boozy notes along with um, uh, Fougère notes of shaving soap and things like that. It's kind of interesting. It's like a unique mix of warm and oriental kind of a fragrance with the fougere notes of like fresh aromatic lavender, uh, tonka beans and things like that. So if you're into the idea of uh, exploring adventurous uh, fougere fragrances, then the definitely the tragedy of Lord George is one for you to try from Penhaligans and look at that amazing bottle. This is just an amazing bottle. So that is another one for you to try. Next, we're going to the house of Louis Vuitton, and this is Sur La Route, this one right here. Sur La Route is one of the five fragrances that was launched together with the men's collection. Um, so even though they're targeted to men, I think they're very unisex personally. And this one is a very, very refreshing, juicy, uh, aromatic experience. It's just like, um, it means on the road, sur la route. It's just like, it's like a vacation in a bottle. It smells great, it's classy. It's, it's modern, but still very, not, not, I wouldn't say it's very classic. It has classic touches. It's like an amped up eau de cologne, uh, very, very intense. The juicy, crispy citruses is amazing. So this is sur la route from Louis Vuitton. If you don't know it, check it out. I love the way it smells on me. Next, we're going to another citrus from the house of Le Labo. This is Bergamot 22. And this one is one of my favorite citruses of all time. It is such a cozy uh, Bergamot. It smells so good. It's like, when you smell it, it's like, it gives you a relaxing feel. It's like, Oh my God, is it really that good? It just 
heartwarming that the kind of uh, the fragrance this is. It smells just divine. A true, true bergamot, juicy, just not overly tart. There's a sweetness in there, but still you can kind of get a puckery mouth when you're smelling it because it is tart after all. So good. And I can also smell like green leaves in here, the pedigran, it's amazing. Bergamot 22 by Le Labo, one of the best citruses ever made. Next, go into the house of Tom Ford. This is Oudwood, this one right here. This has to be on this list. This is a classy scent. Even though Father's Day lands on a summer day, I think we're almost summer, um, somewhere around there. Uh, this is can be a little strong. Some of these can be a little strong, but um, go easy on the trigger, but I find it to be not overly strong and I find this perfect for a father to wear all year round or on Father's Day. Uh, woody, classy aromatic, spicy, cardamom, oud, um, just amazing fragrance. Uh, Oudwood is one of the best uh, creations from the Tom Ford uh, private blend collection and, and it's an amazing fragrance. Uh, smells great. People do compliment you, although not as much as something like Aventus or Elysium, but still it has great, great um, uh, crowd-pleasing um, experience. So that is Oudwood from Tom Ford. Next we're going to the house of Frederick Mall again and this is French Lover. Now in the States it used to be called Bois d'Orage but they've changed it now. It is French Lover everywhere. The best green fragrance for men I think. It's very very herbal. Like if you like green things, if you like the smell of vines, uh, leaves and uh, shrubs, all green it's here. It's so good. It smells to me like there's like ivy, there's uh, grape vines, there's um, tomato leaves all captured in here and it's just a very very classy experience. So such a great fragrance. If you like those bitter green uh, um, leafy smells then French Lover is for you. Just, just uh, visualize the smell. I mean even I think I would add fig leaves in here. Like it smells like fig leaves, ivy, uh, uh, grapevines and uh, just all of those kind of mixed together for a very very classy green woody experience. So that's French Lover from Frederick Mall. Next we're going to Penhaligon's once again and this is Endymion Concentrate, this one right here. Uh, where have I been? I wasn't a big fan of the original Endymion but I head over heels with this one because this one has a, a leathery backbone, it's got the cardamom in there, it's got the very aromatic experience with that dense vetiver dry down, I'm, I'm sorry not vetiver, leather dry down. To die for fragrance, it's, it's amazing because for some reason the original Endymion I thought was not a wow fragrance for me. It was good but you know it didn't like stop me in the tracks but this one did and I was, I'm obsessed with wearing it. Plus that bottle is just gorgeous. Check it out. If you like leather with aromatic touches definitely try Endymion Concentrate from Penhaligon's. And last but not least we're going to the house of um, Ormond Jane and this is Ormond Man right here. Awesome scent. Such a classy scent. It's herbal, it's bright, it's aromatic, it's refreshing, it has some depth, it has great longevity, but it's not beast, if that makes sense. So you've got all these beautiful aromatic notes, classy, masculine, perfect for dad. This, if you want classy fragrances, this house just can't be beat. Um, I mean, it's definitely not Creed, it's not Creed, but fragrances from this house are in, in the same uh, level of Creed, if not better, as far as class goes. I find every single thing that this house does very, very classy. They're not overwhelming, they're not potent, they're not heavy, dense, deep, rich, but they have great longevity, great performance. Closer to the skin, but great long-lasting long fragrances. Ormond Man is one of those awesome releases, very, very classy and masculine for uh, a man or dad to wear on Father's Day. So there you have it. There's 21 fragrances for Father's Day. I did this a little different today, but uh, just wanted to quickly do a video for you guys to enjoy 21 fragrances for dad. If you are looking for fragrances to buy for your dad or father, uh, I'll have links in the info box. Um, you can check out fragrances there. Or if you are a dad and you're looking for suggestions to wear tomorrow for Father's Day, then here you are. I'm sure you guys are going to wear something great. If it's not these, let me know what they are. Please put some comments down and uh, let me know if you know these fragrances or if you don't know them. And if you have something to suggest to me that's even better than these or 
that you like that's perfect for dad to wear for Father's Day or for your dad or if you are a dad for you to wear please let me know put a comment down so that we can get a conversation started other than that guys please like this video please share it follow me on Facebook Twitter and Instagram and I'll be back with more videos very soon have a good one goodbye <laughs>